boiling point is the temperature at which a liquid will vaporize into a gas, and vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by that vapor just above the surface of the liquid. What is the relationship between boiling point and vapor pressure? When water is heated and reaches its boiling point, which is 100 degrees Celsius, it starts to vaporize, and the water vapor just above the surface of the liquid water reaches a vapor pressure of 1 atm, which is equal to that of the atmosphere. This means the water molecules on the surface of the water will rise into and maintain equilibrium with the atmosphere. Basically, this means that anything that reaches 1 atm pressure will become a gas just like the gases in the atmosphere. Well, what does this mean? Why does water stay liquid until it reaches its boiling point? Well, let's take a closer look at the surface of water. The atmosphere applies pressure, or force, onto the surface of water. And the surface water applies an opposing force onto the atmosphere, but not an equal force. The atmosphere applies a greater force onto the surface of water, compressing it down and keeping it in liquid state. Now let's take a closer look at the water molecules on the surface of water. Attractive intermolecular forces, typically hydrogen bonds, form between the water molecules. As the temperature of water rises, the vapor pressure of the water molecules on the surface also rise. When the temperature of water hits its boiling point, which is 100 degrees Celsius, the heat that is still being applied to the water goes into breaking the intermolecular forces between the water molecules, instead of heating the water up beyond 100 degrees Celsius. This allows the water molecules to become free and vaporize into a gas just above the surface of the liquid water. This water vapor now has a vapor pressure equal to that of the atmosphere, 1 atm, which means they can rise into the atmosphere and coexist as a gas with the atmospheric gases. And this happens surface layer by surface layer as long as heat is continuously being applied until all the water evaporates. You may have noticed the surface of water was quite repetitive during my discussion of boiling point and vapor pressure. So imagine that the rate of evaporation of water in part depends on the surface area of water. The greater the surface area exposed to the atmosphere, the more water molecules there are at the surface to vaporize into gas, so the greater the rate of evaporation. The rate of vaporization of water also depends on whether or not there are other substances mixed in the water and how much of these substances are mixed in. But I talk about these factors in my colligative properties, vapor pressure depression and boiling point elevation video in my chemistry playlist. Do check it out. Simple as that.